Yo, what's going on guys? It's Caden here, back with another video, and today we are going to be doing the best flyweight versus the best heavyweight, and we'll get into some highlights about the fight before it gets on, and then yeah, we'll get into it. See you guys then. Alright, now into the fight. Well, he has challenged for UFC gold outside the octagon. He's accomplished really as much as any heavyweight in the sport. The Reem, Alistair Overeem is back tonight. And this is a guy who has really maintained his focus nearly 60 fights into a career that dates to 1999. That doesn't even mention his K1 accolades. Alistair Overeem, a threat as always. Good to see him turn around quickly to compete again tonight. Alistair Overeem, the former Strike Force heavyweight champion, the former Dream heavyweight champion, and the former K1 heavyweight Grand Prix champion, is one of the most decorated fighters in the history of mixed martial arts. So another massive moment for the UFC's only flyweight champion, Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson, here tonight. The only flyweight champion in UFC history has kept it going. He has evolved every step of the way, and it is going to take an unbelievable championship performance to dethrone the greatest 125-pound fighter of all time. Demetrius Johnson is a very pure mixed martial artist. He started out in MMA, so he's always trained in every single aspect of the sport, and he's always trained hard. He's a gifted athlete, tremendous speed, and he's constantly looking to finish fights. And now our fill the tape for this heavyweight fight. Johnson is 31, Overeem is 37. He weighed in at 265 pounds. He will have a 14-inch reach advantage. And now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a professional record of 44 wins, 17 losses, and one no contest. He stands 64 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Body out of Amsterdam, the Netherlands, Alistair Overeem! And now, finishing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 27 wins, 3 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Parkland, Washington, USA, Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson! All right, I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. The fighters touch him up. Here you go. First round. You ready? You ready? Let's here go. we go. All right, so here we go with the Reem. Alice drove him early round one. More often than not, the judges not needed in nearly 60 pro fights for Alice drove him. Let's see how he chooses to attack this challenger. Oh, strong punch there by Johnson. They have started this fight off with a blow. Joe, what are you looking for out of him here in the early game? One thing to keep an eye out for is the powerful kicks of Alistair Overeem. He lands a Superman punch. High kick! He hurt him. He's got him hurt here. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Get it. Oh, nice knee. All right, 
So there's that first kick to the body, and it lands, Joe. This is an opponent who has been subject to body damage in the past. Let's see if he can shore up the defense here. Oh! oh. Kick to the face. He's got him hurt here. Nice takedown. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Working from the mounted crew. In the side control again. He tries to pass here, but gets shut down. Joe doing a nice job here, staying busy from the bottom. Just over two minutes to go. Trying to pass here. They're canceling each other out. Now he's got the mounted crucifix. Huge Ooh. elbow lands to the head. Tries to pass, but cannot. Now the hammer fist here by DJ. down. He's got a very good Kimura. Take a look at some of the action in that round here. Here's a huge kick that stuns. And here we see some really technical offense with submissions. Let's take a look at it from a different angle. Big round. He won it. That, that took the round. That took the round. Good job, baby. Took the round right at the end. Beautiful. Hey, you just won this thing. Brittany Palmer in the building. Second round underway. At the end of that round, his opponent was clearly hurt. He's going to look to start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. And you're dealing with an incredibly high-level striker in Alistair Overeem. Arguably the most decorated... Oh! Oh, oh, he hurt him. Bad. Bad. Oh, he missed that kick. Nice leg kick. Pat did knee there from Overeem. Overeem gets caught by the inside leg kick. A few more, and that'll leave a mark. Nice punch there by DJ. The Reem gets hit with a kick. Oh, nice job with the leg kick, and he will continue to try to beat up that lead leg. He'll go outside, he'll go inside. Expect that to be a big part of his attack and strategy in this one. Oh, he is landing those leg kicks over and over again. How about that shin? Oh, nice. Hook in the clinch there is good by Johnson. You got double underhooks here. Good takedown defense, very nicely done. Excellent takedown defense. Remain in the round. Yeah, referee's gonna separate him. Hey. 
Now he goes for the single leg. Well, Joe, he seems to have his opponent's timing down. He has landed some good shots, but nothing really in terms of multi-shot combinations, and perhaps that's why his opponent's still standing. So perhaps at this point, he could change up the power with which he throws some of these strikes, maybe alter the tempo a little bit, and try to make it so it's not just one and done when it comes to his striking attack. Stuffed it, stuffed it. And there comes the separation now. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. And Alistair tags him. 20 seconds to go. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up. And the final horn and it couldn't have come at a better time after he got absolutely buckled by that shot to the body. Looked like a liver shot there. It came just before the horn. So now we'll see if he can recover. 60 seconds. We'll see if that helps him stay in this fight. But a seminal moment there at the end of that round. Let's see it one more time. Ariane Celeste with us tonight. Here we go. Third round, you ready? You ready? Let's Third go. round underway. Well, it looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. So there is the head kick, and that one appeared to wobble his opponent. So he waited a long time, maybe longer than we thought, to go to that strike. But certainly when he called for that weapon, it was there, and it was effective. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. side control once more. Well, just because you're on your back doesn't mean you can't throw offense. Staying busy here. You like to see that, Joe. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Now he's trying to go for a Kimura. Got his arm pinned down. That arm looks locked up tight. He might get a finish here. into that submission and there was nowhere to go. Yeah, Joe, that's about as good as it gets in terms of executing the submission. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and was able to get the tap shortly thereafter. Excellent work 
to set up and ultimately finish the submission here tonight. And here we can see it again. Beautiful technique here on this Kimura. Perfectly applied for the tap. And one more time. Nice technique here on this submission. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official Mario decision. Yamasaki is called to stop this contest at three minutes, 56 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by tap out, Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. All right, so more of the same here in this UFC flyweight division as Demetrius Johnson gets his hand raised yet again. And you All right, thank you guys so much for watching that video. Turns out the flyweight is better than the heavyweight. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.